Hi, I'm Steve Cottonell from Alec Mowers. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the belts on the Sterling 43 or 51 cylinder mower. So firstly, we're going to use the 4mm Allen key provided and we're going to remove this side guard which is secured by these three fixings. So you'll notice we've got the cartridge drive belt and also the rear roller drive belt. So good practice just to take a photograph if you can, just so you haven't got to try and memorise the actual routing for the belt. So if you've got a photo or even just draw it, just to remember that routing. So to release the tension, we basically just release the tensioner clamp. We can then feed that belt off the pulleys and then you'll just need to bring a bit of tension on just to release the idler tensioner just allowing you to just to take that belt off and then to fit the belt we basically just locate that over so everything just in reverse basically so we'll just lift that tensioner and locate the belt through that belt replaced. So now we're going to change the rear roller belt. So to do this we've got um, the motor um, shaft is supported on this bracket here which is pivoted on this fixing and then also this fixing you'll notice is within the slot. So we need to slacken those two and then we can basically raise and lower this top section on this bracket. So to do this we need to remove this black casing here and that's using the four millimeter allen key we can remove these four fixings and then we can remove this tunnel guard. So using a 10 millimeter spanner and the four millimeter Allen key, we can just take the tension off those. Now we've taken the tensioner off, that bracket is now lowered to the bottom of the slot and then we can remove that belt. So to replace and then we need to put our tension back on to the top section which underneath the pulley we can basically get a pry bar which we can position between the two plates just to uh, apply the tension while we're tensioning the, uh, the fixings. 
So then we can screw this fixing back into position, securing the bracket. Ideally, we want 5 to, to 8 mil deflection on that. So to finish that off now, we just need to place the tunnel guard back on and then also the plastic housing for the battery unit. And then we can reinstate the four fixings. So that's our belts replaced, uh, and the same principle if, we're, um, if the belt has uh, stretched at all and you just want to add more tension, again it's just release those two fixings and then use the pry bar section underneath just to raise th that, uh, that top motor so you can put some tension on there. Now we're going to reinstate the side guard. We're now ready to mow.